Yeah, I'm coming through, this is Bobby's story I'm diving off the top of a bus with a double story Call it Double Decker, I got to check you Bobby Brickman freestyling off the top of a record See, this is how I just chill and play CDs at home And other times do outdoor interviews with Cosmic Genome I gotta just connect it together, whatever the weather Actually, this is pretty nice Yesterday it was raining, no pleasure As we handed out flyers, no amplifiers necessary I got the vocabulary to tell the tales of Canterbury And I step up, I'm not a bloody G but I am a rapper with a scientist wife who studies me. <laughs> so, so Bob is great as both my husband and my lab rat, and sometimes I have him do tests just for fun. Um, other times it's for research. But <laughs> what we learn, what's going on in his brain when he's rapping, is that there's actually a dissociated pattern of activation in his prefrontal cortex. And what we see is that there's increased activation in a part of the prefrontal cortex, which has to do with the internally generated stimulus-independent information. So it's coming from within. He can close his eyes, he doesn't need any external information, and that part of the brain is, is, is it's generating that information. But then the other part of his brain, called the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, is down-regulated. And that part of the brain has to do with your conscious awareness, your monitoring your behavior to make sure it conforms with social norms. It also has to do with self-awareness. So when you're in, in an improvised state, your self-awareness is turned down, um, and you're not conforming your behavior to social norms, and it allows the free, unfiltered generation of information to come from within. Um, and at the end, you have to, obviously, it has to make sense. It's not random words. So you do have to have a bit of consciousness there, but it's just turned down a bit.